have a lifelong interest in ecologically sound use of the environment. And this is clearly one, it's not hurting the ocean, it's helping me. Uh, it's much better than fossil fuels in any way, whether it be gas or oil. And it just makes absolute sense to me to do it that way. The beauty of the geo-exchange heat pump is that it takes the heat out of the ocean, lakes, ponds, or out of the ground uh, outside your home where you have an extremely stable temperature and an unlimited supply of heat. Uh, in the wintertime, we transport that energy from outside the home and dispose of it inside the house, thus heating the house. In the summertime, we take the heat out of the house, those blocks of energy, and dispose of it in the ground, in the ocean, ponds, or loops, uh, lake loops outside of the home. You're basically paying for transportation costs of those blocks of energy alone. You're not actually paying for producing that energy. The energy is already there in the ground. For every dollar of electricity you use, uh, you can get three to four dollars of heat out of the ground for nothing. When I moved up to British Columbia, to Victoria, which was just out under three years ago, I knew that I wanted to swim. I've lived in California for most of my adult life, about 40 years, and I developed the habit of taking a swim every morning. Uh, there was a pool in this house, so I knew that I was going to have to heat it in the winter. I did not realize how much it was going to cost to heat with oil. Um, I tried to heat it with oil, and I found that it cost in the area of three to five hundred dollars a month during the uh, autumn and winter months. I asked a lot of people up here, and I was able to find Doug Lockhart, Lockhart Industries. Uh, who had some experience, uh, had some good experience, with uh, water source heat pumps using the ocean. He came, uh, we spent a lot of time planning, or he spent a lot of time planning what he wanted to do in terms of heating and uh, where the undersea loops would go, and then he put the system in, and it has been absolutely miraculous since then. The basic reason was the efficiency, uh, the saving of the money, uh, the uh, air conditioning along with it, uh, and plus, I can heat the pool, preheats my water to 100, my hot water to 130 degrees, and it just makes it very, very efficient. And I can't see why everybody doesn't have it if they have the uh, the area to put it in. It's just so efficient that it, it's everybody should have it. In this house, they they have the ventilation system for uh, maintaining humidity control and also cleanliness of air. Uh, we've heard an awful lot about IAQ, indoor air quality of late with uh, some of the mold mildews build up and, and how they've been linked to uh, various uh, serious respiratory diseases. The airflow given by the, the water furnace system, the geo-exchange system, uh, has the ability to clean the air, to heat the air, to cool the air, uh, thus, by cooling in the summertime, we have the ability to uh, drop the relative humidity and make it more comfortable in the house. We also have the ability with that system to, uh, to heat the, the in-floor as well. So comfort level is, is second to none. Uh, with a, a regular, let's say, electric forced air furnace, the heat fluctuates as even it's two or three degrees. It's, uh, you really notice it will go down a bit and then the big blast of heat comes. With the geothermal heat, uh, I can set the temperature at say 69 degrees and it stays that constant. If I, if I want it night and day, it'll stay 69 degrees. It doesn't matter if it's cold out or it doesn't change at all. You don't hear the furnace clunking and clanking and, and ductwork popping. It's because the temperature stays so constant, there's not much expansion in the, in the ductwork. Yeah, one of the things we really liked about dealing with the Walker Industries is the after sales service. Uh, they spent a lot of time designing the system but because it's a large house, it's a new system, is that there is always a fair bit of fine tuning afterwards. And they came back probably half a dozen times in the first couple of months, just as we found that there was little areas that we did not quite meet our expectations. They would come back, they were very quick, they'd be there that day or the next day, and they'd just do a little bit more fine tuning. The reason why we went with the geo system in this house is because we like the fact that it was quiet, there's no noise. It's economical over the long run. We intend to stay in this house, so over the long period of time it will be more economical. Uh, we have a young family, which means that there's a lot of laundry, which means a lot of water usage. And this system preheats the water. And according to the statistics that Doug 
gave to us is that that should have a significant economic savings to us over the long term. In this type of a structure where we have a large, um, you know, large open area, large open base, um, we've gone to an in-floor heating system and it's, it's very, very efficient. The, uh, it warms up you know, reasonably quickly in the, in the cool temperatures and um, you know, it's the only heat source in the entire building. The, the system itself is extremely efficient. Um, as far as a heating and cooling system commercially, you don't get anything that's, that's more efficient. Um, I think they're running around 400% efficient now, which is pretty incredible. Commercial geoexchange units are on the rise in, in BC. Um, uh, the technology is becoming a little bit more affordable and uh, it is the environmentally friendly way to heat your business and cool as well. Lockhart Industries has been with us for I would say now for about two and a half years um, working with him. He's uh, very knowledgeable as to what he does. Uh, he's always been there to point out uh, the benefits or the disadvantages of whatever we're thinking of doing. Um, we've used anything from the water furnaces through to a normal air source uh, heat pump in any of our projects. Always top quality. We've never had any complaints with any of it. And always there if we need to, for some reason, have something serviced, he's always there. One of the main reasons that we went with the jail exchange program is that it was cost efficient. We um, are a nonprofit charity organization, and not only were we um, having problems getting enough money to build the building, we also had to consider what it was going to cost us to maintain it and to operate for over, hopefully, the next 25 years. We're 25 years old and we need to think about how we're going to run the next 25 years. And through all our research of oil, electricity, propane, the jail exchange gave us the best bang for our dollar. And we're extremely happy with Doug and the jail exchange technology and we're very glad that we made the decision to go with Doug's product. One of the things that we take a great deal of pride in is the fact that since these projects uh, are a little above the average as far as uh, technology requirements and tradesman uh, level requirements, we take a great deal of time, spend it with the customer, find out what the customer's needs are, and thus we form a relationship with the customer that lasts for, for years to come afterwards. The finished work was extraordinary. Every detail, uh, was done beautifully. You mean down to the, the way the pipes are strapped to uh, the walls inside the heating room. Everything is just done beautifully. There is no, no, I like a job that's finished well. It's finished well. He took everything into consideration because a lot of them come into a building, oh yeah, this will work. But when he put it in, he knew it would work. They were, most of them are guessing that it's going to work correctly. But he had all the figures on how much heat loss through the windows, how much sunlight would come in, and he put in a system to handle it all, and it's worked excellent. And anybody trying for it, you know, I say see Doug first, and you know, check the others, but I think you'll go with Doug.